thing from low to high, same old consulting term. And this is called usefulness. Over here is uh, things like quality. You know, lawyers love quality. They'll put something on cranes, paper, it's quality. And from low to high. <clears throat> well, you have to realize that if, if you've got lots of quality, but no usefulness, you're talking about that bike that comes in um, in a box that you have to put together, it's useless. Or, as I was saying one time, one of my clients actually represents them, it's very high in usefulness, but low in quality. You know, Domino's Pizza, piece of cardboard in less than 20 minutes, okay? Or whatever. So what you're trying to do is say, we want to be here. We want to be perceived as having the highest quality, and we're also useful. And so when, when, you go in to talk to a client, or when my uh, clients go in to talk to a client, one of the first things they're doing is they're asking lots of questions to find out what is useful to this guy. Is it one week turnaround, two month turnaround? Is it uh, is it that they're having trouble with their boss? Is it they're being merged? And, you know, he doesn't know what his job's going to be. What what's useful? So once we get this, then we come over here and say, that is relative value added. So now I've got low to high relative value added off of that chart. And down here is the volume of work available. So when I drew it up the first time, we had about 4% is here, nuclear event, you bought your, you know, you bet your farm, you bet the company, it's over. If I don't win this, it's over. Bill Gates with the antitrust suit. Right, yeah, I'm done. So I don't care who is out there, I'm gonna pick the one person who can solve my problem. And I don't care how much he bills me. Because this line is the price sensitive line. So as you get down below this point, they're becoming more and more price sensitive. If you go above this line, they become less and less price sensitive. So there's 4%, there's about 16% in here, which I call, I'm just hiring a, the best trial lawyer I can find. I'm hiring, uh, like, I'm Exxon Mobil. I hire uh, David Hughes to do all my litigation, but I'm using all my internal asset lawyers to do the rest of the stuff. Because David's up here, and the rest of the stuff is down here. Then they use the brand name. They keep coming back to the same company again and again and again. These are the people who typically ask for a 10% discount. And Ron mentioned it earlier. There's a term that we created called realization. You have, within a lot of firms, you have an internal billing rate, meaning the standard rate we're going to use for, uh, let's say Pam is a 20-year person, so She's got a lot more experience and core competency than you might have, so your rate's gonna be lower than her rate. And we'll usually do a 10% discount. Well, if um, in realization, if your rate's, let's say, $100 an hour, and you give a 10% discount, you're now down to 90, right? And then if you give another discount, as you write off time and width, you're down to $81. And if you give another discount just to collect the money to come in the door, now you're down to $72. So $28 is gone. And in law firms, you know, let's say it's a million dollar law firm or a hundred million dollar law firm. If we can just pick up 10% of that money, no added overhead. And if, let's say it's a hundred million dollar law firm, we got $10 million of money to spend on partners to say, hey, you got a bonus this year, and it's this. But we've got to get our realization up and stop giving discounts. Down here is 60%, and that's commodity. The client actually perceives anybody can do this. And this is where my friend, who's the general counsel of uh, a big insurance company up in Boston, says, if 
if you get a telephone call from the assistant to the assistant claims manager secretary, <laughs> you're, you're there. You're <laughs> if you get a call from the claims manager for Orlando, you're here. If you get a call from the regional claim manager, you're here. If you get a call from me, you're here, because we're going to get kicked out of Florida, maybe. If you get a call from my CEO, you're here. So this is where that example I gave you about the $15,000 brief that they billed 10 grand for, it's, it's the same, it's value. It has nothing to do with the time. It's all where it is on this curve for the client. So if the client thinks it's here, and you know it, and goes back to that leverage issue I talked to, I can take some of the work that might be here, and I'll build a high price for it if I have to do it myself. If I can leverage it with that kind of leverage, then I can do it with people down here. And the reason the New York firms make so much money is they're doing this kind of stuff with that kind of leverage instead of all partner, no associate. They're doing it with that. So they're making tons of money. And the other whole other issue about this is I was talking about it was <clears throat> clients have begun to say, push that curve. More and more stuff is becoming a commodity in their brain. And like I think Pam said, how do you get out of this trap? Well, there's a great example. Uh, Trammell Crow is a real estate developer here and now all over. But Trammell Crow, uh, let's say, wants to do a $100 million loan financing. Trammell Crow builds building after building after building after hotel after hotel after hotel. So does Trammell Crow need someone up here to do it for him? No, he just wants someone down here to turn that thing around in a week. Now, Aztec Construction has got one building, and he needs a $100 million interim loan. Where is he on the curve? He's up here. And the difference is Trammell Crow is buying a document because he has to have someone outside his company do it. The banker wants him to do it. This guy is buying a completely different bundle of services. He's buying your telephone number, your night number, your cell phone number, so when he wakes up with a cold sweat, he can call you anytime. He wants your expertise. He wants your reputation with the bank. He wants your reputation with the title company. He wants your rep all. He's buying a complete, Trammell Crow doesn't need that. So by adding the bundles of services, we basically move it up the stream. This is what you all have been talking about, is giving them options. You know, you give them an option of being here or here or here. And it's all in the bundle of services. 